are you? Hello. Hi, Good can evening. you Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I see familiar faces. Oh, there's Irena one, Irena two. Everybody. I only see one new face, which is Alex Jacko. Hello, Hello class. I, I oh, incorporate Alex. today. Hello. That's good. good. Hello. Alex. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. How was your Wednesday today? Mm. Mine was easy and yes. hard. Why? Because there, there were a lot of uh, troubles to solve at my work. Okay. Okay, that was the difficult part. What was the easy part? Uh, the easy part that I finally, I am at home. Okay, good. But the traffic was not very strict today, right? No, it was nice in the morning. Uh, in the evening was kind of um, a little bit hard, but it was fluently. Uh, I have a question. Was there... um? Is there going to be school tomorrow? Yes. I think it's official tomorrow uh, the people, the, the students come back to the school. We'll come back to the school. They should give the complete week. Maybe. But I don't know what the, the news says tonight. Oh, okay. A Warmack told me that officially the students uh, will come back tomorrow. But I don't know. I, I didn't see the news. Yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me open my email so we can start the class today. So remember yesterday we started doing um, infinitives and gerunds, correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay, hold on. One second, I'm getting my dun, 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 dun. Okay, let me pull up the class. Remember that this week we're going to study tomorrow and Friday. Really? Yes, yes because of Monday. Okay. okay. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, I can yes, see. Yes. <laughs> okay, according to what we did yesterday, it says read the instructions. Rewrite the sentence using infinitives or gerund phrases. Remember to use capital letters and periods. 
for example, number one, it says, it's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. Who has an answer for that? Talking about politics at work or at school is inappropriate. So talking about politics, politics, po politics. politics. Wow. At work or school is inappropriate. Okay. Yes, talking about politics. A worker school is inappropriate. What else is inappropriate talking about what in work? Because I imagine everybody here works. Religion. Religion. Okay, yeah. Talking about religion in work or school is inappropriate. Okay. Well, um, also talking about in this moment it's a, it's, it's a hot topic talking about um abortion yes talking about abortion or gender or sexuality Did talking about a, I do. Mm. Is inappropriate. It's necessary. Is, is inappropriate. I'm, I'm sorry. I think yes. it's necessary because I, the students is the orientation. No, in school, yes. In school, I think it's necessary. But at work, I think at work is, um, well, for example, I don't know about your work, but like, Sara Mireli in Talos, correct? In Talos, people are very liberal. You see boys with makeup and 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 um, painted, or they dress as women. If they feel like it, it's okay. And Talos is it's okay, and and that's okay. It's, it's no problem. But I think. I think the problem would be when, when it comes to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I have a student, my student in my last class, he was a um, transvestite and he works in a call center. Siempre le quise preguntar, pero no me atreví. When you go to the bathroom, where do you go? To the women's bathroom or the men's bathroom? Because I, I don't know what, no, no, it's, it's not, because I don't know what action the, the call center takes. Lo legal, like the legal. Okay, yes, you're a woman, but in a Dewey, you're a man, so you have to go to the man's bathroom or, or the women's bathroom. So I don't know, it's, 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 yes or no, it's getting complicated, Sara, in, in call centers. Uh. I think in a call center is necessary because uh, the call center has uh, a lot of people, um, for example, gays. Um, I don't know, how do you say lesbianas? I think it's gay too. Gay. I think gays okay. for both. I think a man is gay and a woman is gay. Okay, but in the school, for me, is unnecessary because the kids, um, they, I don't know, but it's, for me, it's unnecessary in the school. But you in think the war, it's you think very in, necessary. You think in school it's not necessary for children to talk about that or teachers yeah. to, to talk to children? Yeah, because... 
causes um, confuse in the kids because yes. when my because when my my daughter is so uh two woman two woman uh has, yeah, has a kid mm -hmm. and she asked me why <laughs> and so it me, is important for children to listen to this in school maybe yeah be, but for me causes um cause um yeah problems yes. with there because cows confused it's true i think it's relation with the politics of institution because the politics for students politics for worker politics is is of institution but in uh, is 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 status 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 yes uh, the, of the institution because I work in my in my work I politics status status uh, uh, how do you say definidos defined defined status defined. Yes, and you know, and, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because, for example, it says, yes, it's inappropriate. Uh, talking about politics is inappropriate. But maybe five years ago or 10 years ago, talking about sexuality was inappropriate. But now, today, I don't know if it's necessary. Maybe it's necessary. You know, I mean, things change because the sexuality now and 10 years ago is totally different. Now it's more open. So I, yeah, so I think it's, it's now I think it's appropriate. For example, when you go to work, human resources, Recursos Humanos, to give a chat, you know, to give a chat like, welcome to the job. You're here, you feel free to be welcome. But El Salvador, we will respect the laws of El Salvador. And if, if you're a man, I'm sorry, we'll mark you as a man. <laughs> but if you feel you want to be a woman, it's okay. It's no problem. I don't know. But now I think it's, it's, it's necessary maybe to have a chat with children or at work. Yes. Because 10 years ago, it was inappropriate. Now maybe it's necessary. What else is inappropriate? in the house with your parents is appropriate for children education no no but you need a verb remember we need a gerund like smoking okay. in a house is inappropriate or in the mall okay okay no problem yeah listen number two using certain gestures is impolite in some foreign countries What is the correct way? The correct answer. It's impolite to use, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> it's it impolite. To use certain. To, to use, there you to go. To use certain gestures in some foreign countries. Teacher, and those was the only two correct answers I had. <laughs> really? Okay, we'll see. I don't know why I couldn't find the 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 correct the right answers. <laughs> okay. No. The, well, you know, you know, sometimes, well, the majority of the times, the um, <laughs> the platform is bad. Yeah, I found I, I found a pair of, of mistakes. Yes. What what gestures 
What gestures do you think are bad in other countries that we do? Kiss, uh, kiss in the cheek. Kiss, uh, uh, kissing in the cheek is not, is impolite in some foreign countries. For okay. example, in Korea. Oh yes, you can, Korea. They get offended if you if you kiss on the cheek. Yeah, because they they uh, they think that is an inappropriate um, uh, gesture. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you give something to a Jewish, do you know what is Jewish? Jewish or uh, is that like a reverence? No. Jewish is the religion from Israel. Oh. No, I, I didn't know. What is a Jewish? Jesus Judeo. Christ. Judeo. Judeo, yes. Oh, Jews. Oh, Jews. Jew, Jewish. No, Jewish. 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 Judeo. All my life I have, I, 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 I have pronounced bad. The, the, oh, the, yeah. The, no, yeah. no problem. Well, many people confuse and they think that a person Jewish. from Israel is a Jewish. Could you, could you repeat the, the, the sure. word? Jewish. 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 Thank you. Jewish is Judaismo, creo. Y Jew is un judío. Jew. Jew. So eh, to a Jew person, it is considered impolite to give that person something with your left hand. Oh. They get offended. Really? Yes. It's, 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 a, it's a, every, every country yes. it has his, its own um, oh, customs. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yeah, I didn't know that. I had a friend and her husband, her husband is, her husband is not a Jew. Her husband is from Israel, oh. but he's not a Jew. And we were talking one day, you know, about like religions. And he told me that a Jewish person gets offended if you give something with the left hand. Like, oh, here, take my phone here. And it's offensive for them because the left hand is only for the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Okay. What else? Uh, another gesture that you know in another country that is not good? Teacher, I remember in, something else. Teacher, what? In, yes. Uh, I don't know if you hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, in in both <laughs> sentences, um, I, I don't know where was the mistake because both are wrong. I don't know why. Don't worry, we'll correct them. We'll correct them. One thing I'm telling you, listen, eighty percent of the time the platform is wrong or the question or, or sometimes it's wrong. So don't worry about it. That's why when we do it in classes, we'll do the correct way. Okay. Yes. Um, I know a gesture that Salvadorians, we don't like, but we do. For example, we don't like the... <laughs> But we do it. Do you do you do that? I hate that. I hate doing that. But sometimes I do it. It's necessary. Si no, no me escuchan. <laughs> All right. Number three, it says, asking someone's age is often considered rude. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. Is considered rude. I consider um, when asking some some age is necessary. Okay. 
Yes. Maybe it's considered rude. Sorry, it's considering, it's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Okay, good. Teacher, I think it's not considered rude. It's question of form uh, or moment. Here's the answer. Uh, like. it's, a, it's a date uh, I need for uh, a problem, um, situation. Here's the answer. It's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Okay. Aquí está la primera answer. Look, talking about politics at work or school is inappropriate. Number two is it's impo it's uh, it's impolite to use certain gestures in some foreign countries. It's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Okay, next it says. It's not unusual in the US to address a professor by his or first name. What do you understand by this? What do you understand by address someone? When you, when you, when you start uh, uh, a conversation with someone, when you saludar. But what is the expression address? So what is address? Direccionar. Okay. Dirigir. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Number one, address. Just the word address is direction. What is your address? Oh, eh, Colonia Vistervosa, Pasaje, blah, 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 Casa, blah, blah, blah. That's my address. Address is uh, it's the same when you explain about any. Yeah. When you explain some, some explanations. Also to address someone is like someone said, did he hear say ah? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not unusual in the United States to address a, profess, a professor by his or first name. I think. Uh, not I sure. Think. No, it's, it's unusual. Unusually, unusually. It's unusual for respect. Mister, um, Miss. Yeah. Mister, Mister Hayes. Mister Ali, Mister. Oh, Mister. Oh, Mister Hayes. <laughs> I don't know. No, but here is saying oh, that. You're, no, but you know, sometimes you can call the teacher by his or first name. Yeah. Usually, it's you usually, usually in, in USA use the last the last name. For example, Mr. Rodriguez, Miss Miss um, Mr. Smith. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Smith. Yes, I I will never understand why the professors. <laughs> The women professors son señoritas. Like señorita Hernández. Why? Porque no es señora. I don't know. Teacher. <laughs> yes. I, I have a question. Is professor is uh, in Spanish professor universitario and teacher is maestro como. Uh, yes. Is... Professor is, is like, um, it's like university. <laughs> 
It's like something very big, <laughs> Professor. Okay, but you know what? In the United States, sometimes you can call your professor by his or first name. Aunque soy alado, but you can. So in the US, addressing a professor by his or first name isn't in, unusual. Number five, hugging friends when you greet them is customary in many cultures. What is greet? Do you know what is greet? Saludar. Yes. So I think somebody was mentioning here in Salvador when we greet someone, we kiss. But we, well, I, I've seen that men kiss women or women kiss men or women kiss women, but men don't kiss men. Correct? In, yes, in, in, in Italy, in Italy, yes, men kiss men and two times. In Argentina Spain. too? Oh yeah, Argentina too? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> in Spain, it's the same. Oh yes? Men with men, yeah. Two times? Yeah, two kisses. Oh, okay. Yeah, in El Salvador, no, we just, men only kiss women, women kiss men, and women kiss women. Not necessarily lesbianism, but just as a greed. All right. For me, I, I prefer not to kiss anyone <laughs> for respect. So in many cultures, it is customary to hug friends when you greet them. Do you remember the movie Ace Ventura? Yes. Yes. When yes, he when, when he spits I on the you. face, like, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Oh, in the in their tradition, is when you greet someone, you spit on their face. Oh, really? Yeah. It empieza, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny movie, Ace Ventura. Good I love movie. that movie. Yes. Number six, asking strangers if they are married is inappropriate in some countries. In some countries, it's inappropriate to ask strangers if they are married. Okay, do you see the answers? Does everyone have this? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, teacher. Um, let me give an example. He oído that calling a, a small boy or a, a small boy pendejo in Argentina is not offensive. Mm -hmm. It's strange. In Argentina, the niño pendejo is like we say mono. Mono, vení. Yeah. We say monkey. Wow. In El Salvador, it's offensive. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? In Costa Rica, mm -hmm. I think that is not offensive too. It's not offensive? Oh, okay. No, no. That's why I always recommend you to always speak formal English. Because, you know, sometimes people say, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm gonna is I'm going to. What is the difference? One is formal, one is informal. I recommend you to speak formal. You know why? Because when you speak formal, when you speak formal English um, or formal Spanish, it's neutro. Like, let me give you an example. I have a friend and my friend always asked me, well, he was here in El Salvador maybe three months. He was from Holland. And he told me, nunca voy a entender vos y tú. 
y usted? When do we say vos y usted? And, and it's very difficult to explain. Vos es cuando hay confianza. O sea, usted es cuando hay respeto. So, why I say vos to my mom, but I respect my mom, so it should be usted. It's very difficult to explain. So, what I tell my friend is, you know what? Just say usted. Why? Because usted, in every country that speaks English, people will understand you. Vos, if you say vos in Mexico, they'll say, it's not vos, it's tú. If you say tú in Argentina, they'll say, it's not tú, it's vos. But if you say usted in Mexico or Argentina, they will understand you. Because usted is the formal way of speaking. So there's mm -hmm. always one formal way, like in English. So I always recommend you to speak formal English. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go to the next page. In this class, participants will learn and practice using vocabulary to talk about social situations. Let's see what this is about. What's appropriate, what's not appropriate? Let's see. Hi, listen and read the following words and phrases. Decide if they are positive, negative, or neutral. A compliment, an insult, appropriate, bad form, inappropriate, normal, offensive, polite, rude, strange, typical, unusual. How do you feel about these things? Discuss the situations using the words and phrases above. One. You kiss people you meet on the cheek. Two, you and your classmates interrupt the teacher. Three, you stand very close to people when you talk to them. Four, you and your parents talk honestly and openly. Five, your best friend calls you after 11 p.m. Six, you start a conversation with a stranger on a bus or subway. How do you open a conversation? How do you close a conversation? Hope these expressions are useful for you. <coughs> useful expressions. Conversation openers. How's it going? Can you believe this weather? It's awful. That's a great jacket. Do you know many people here? Conversation closers. See you later. Sorry, I've got to run. Talk to you soon. It was great to meet you. I should get going. I'll call you later. In class with a friend, start a conversation using the expressions learned. You may also type your conversation in our discussion box. Okay, let's in see. In class with a friend, start a I should get going. I'll call you later. I should get going. I'll call you later. <clears throat> Look at this. This is conversation openers and closers. What is a conversation opener? Hey, how's it going? Can you believe this weather? It's awful. That's great. That's a great jacket. Do you know many people here? So this is our conversation opener. What else? What is another good opener for you? Like, let's say. Let me see. Let me see. Who looks very, very young here? Marcela, Marce, hello. Oh yeah, you're 21 or 20, correct? Yes, 21. I remember you said yesterday. Excuse me for the question. Are you married or do you have a boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. Okay. I need a single person. Who is single here? Oh man, no one's single. Okay. Mar 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 Who? Oh, Maritza. Maritza. No, Irena. Oh, I'm Irena. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Irena. You're single, Irena. Yes. Okay, Irena, when you are interested in a person and you like that person, and maybe you have done this maybe once in your life or maybe more times. What is a good conversation opener to talk to that person? Um, 
I'll talk uh, about uh, her hobbies or what her life, what he likes to do. No, but okay, no, but that's the conversation. But what? It, but to open that conversation, how do you start? Ah, uh, well, I can say, hi, how are you doing? Okay, good. How are you doing? So oh. you you're you're very old school. Yes, or for example, if you are, um, if I am by the bus, and I say, uh, "Hi, where are you going? Where oh. are you going?" Oh, nice. There you go. That's a good. <laughs> Hi. So where are you going? Okay, good. That's a good conversation opener. Mm -hmm. What about you, boys? Do you remember your pickup lines to talk to a girl when you liked her? Remember? Hello, I heard you. No, remember your high school days, your university days, when you saw that girl, maybe at the dance, at the party, and you say, oh, man, I need to talk to her. What do I do? What do I do? What was your famous opener? For example, like? <laughs> what? For example, hey, could you please help me with this? I couldn't copy the, uh, the, the complete class. All right, cool. <laughs> the perfect excuse. All right, okay, and that it worked, okay. I remember I always used to say something like, hi, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, do I know you? Is your name Carla? No, and sometimes they tell you, no, my name is Anna. Oh man, I'm sorry, I thought I, Anna, um, I confuse you with the sister of my friend where I lived before. Oh, man, you are identical to Carla. And then she'll laugh. Oh, yeah, I remember I had a big crush on her <laughs> or, or something like that. And you start the conversation. Ah, that was good. <laughs> but that was when I was like 20. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I never, I never did any stupid openers like, excuse me, le dolió cuando se cayó? Why? <laughs> el cielo? Oh, that was really, <laughs> you know, cuando cayó del cielo. <clears throat> well, yeah. sometimes, sometimes you can say, for example, I have, I have seen in some place. <laughs> yes. Have I seen you somewhere before? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. All right, cool. There are many openers. Women, which are the normal ones that you always listen to? Okay, you don't have any openers. How do you close a conversation? Okay, see you later. Sorry, I got to run. Talk to you soon. It was great to meet you. I should get going. I'll call you later. What is another? How do you close a conversation? See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, but how do you want to end a conversation? Imagine somebody's talking to you and that person doesn't stop talking and you're, you're only doing this. Uh-huh. 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 And inside you, oh my God, please shut up, please shut up, please shut up. Oh, the, the typical teacher, oh, it's too late. I didn't mm -hmm. realize I have to go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, like, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, what time is it? What? Really? Oh my God, I'm sorry, I have to go pick up my son. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Si quieres te acompaño en el que, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's a closer. What is, what is another closer? Very witty. So I cannot think. I'm sorry, Marcia. You're getting cut off. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there, there's, but you know, now it's easier because if they call you on the cell phone, you can just hang up. And maybe 20 minutes later, send a message and say, oh, I'm sorry, my phone died. 
<laughs> you know oh, oh my cell phone lost the sign now oh yes oh yeah this is a good one hello no i i used to do this i remember i can't hear you can you hear me hello 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 Luis. I, hello and i hang up you know i call back to i'm sorry what, what happened i i no, those are good, good closers. Okay, let me see what's next here. Let's listen to this exercise. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? So someone is a mother and her son, a teacher and her student, a woman and her son's friend. Who is speaking here? Number two, the two young students, two older friends, two co-workers, two cooks, two wives, two classmates. What is a co-worker? In Spanish, compañero de trabajo. Spanish, yes. compañero de trabajo. Okay, good. The reason why I'm telling you that is because la palabra compañero también puede ser partner. Correct? And what is yeah. the difference? Teacher? The difference is that partner is only two people. Es una pareja, partner. Oh. Yeah. So, um, no, no necesariamente sentimental. It can be at work. Oh, my partner, like policemen. Sometimes they work in partners. And the, the term is used with, for example, at my, at my job, uh, they call partner uh, the fabricante. How is it called fabricante? Uh, the provider the provider uh with the with the, my company and there is my company is a partner from the provider okay good yeah they're partners so they mm -hmm. work together mm -hmm. but, I have a question? yes excuse me uh, i have a doubt uh, mm -hmm. in, in usa uh, when you refer to a person who lives with you in the same house Normally you say, hey, hey, she's my girlfriend or she's my, or he's my, borf, my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. In El Salvador, we say, eh, mi compañera de vida o mi compañera de vida. You in say English, my partner, my English, partner. Yeah, in English, it's eh, is, uh, is correct to say, is my partner of life or something like that. No, or, just my partner. Just, people, people will understand that. When you say, I live with my, my partner. partner. Yes. Uh, my partner. Or he, I mean, you know, today you don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, today you don't know. Yes, <laughs> <Yeah>. but, <laughs> but um, partner is a couple. The pareja is two. Okay. So, uh, yes, sometimes you watch movies and you see policemen and they say, oh, he's my partner. Yeah, because sometimes policemen, they work with two. But like, let's say in your company, in your company, there are 100 employees. You don't have 100 partners. You have 100 co-workers. Okay. Yeah, so that's a good question, Sergio. Partner can be your other person in work or sentimental. Or yeah. equipo. Like in basketball. All right. Two tennis. two versus two. Yeah, tennis. Mm -hmm. Two versus two. All right. So, yes. Partners is only two persons. Two people, yes. Okay, two people. The famous expression, my partner in crime. Okay, let's listen to the conversation. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? 
Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Two. A teacher and her student. I'm sorry, do you have a question? It's a teacher and her student. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that in a moment. Hey, Jim. Great music. What group is it? I don't know. It's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music, the bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the style's changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. You what? You've got to be kidding me. No, no. A lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Hmm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Three. Mmm, Jenny. This is delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? Oh no, George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh yeah, George cooks? You didn't know that? Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with the kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Right. So, number one, what do you think it is? Teacher and the student. A teacher, teacher, teacher. A teacher. Teacher and her student. student. Yes. Remember, it says CH is cha, como chucho. No SH. Uh -huh. Teacher. All right. Good. Number two. Uh, two older friends. Older friends. Two older friends, exactly. Older friends, yes. Okay, number three? Two, two, wives. two wives. Two wives. Two wives, okay, good. Let's listen to number two, it says instructions. Listen again, what closing phrase is used in each conversation? Let's hear it. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. 
Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Two. Hey, Jim. Great music. What group is it? I don't know. It's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music. The bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the styles changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. You what? You've got to be kidding me. No, no. A lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Hmm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Three. Mmm, <laughs> Jenny. This is delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? Oh no, George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh yeah, George cooks? You didn't know that? Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with the kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Okay, so number one, what is it? It, it was great to meet you. 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 It, it, it sounded like a big echo. It was great to meet you. It was great to meet you. It was great to meet you. It was great to meet you, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> number two. Anyway. Yeah, this is the typical one. Anyways, I should be going now. That, that is like the, bueno. That, that's like, uh, bueno, yeah. So. And number three is, talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. All right. Awesome. Very good. Okay, so that's pretty much the the social situations yes also um let's there's also formal and informal ways of speaking for example when you want to speak address someone formally like when you want to speak with somebody you usually say may i sergio may i please speak with you yes you don't say can i Yes, you can say can I, but do you know what is can? If I say can I speak with you, ¿qué estoy diciendo? And you can say yes, I don't know if you can. No sé si puede. But if I say may I, it's more formal. 
number and could I? Could I, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um, ustedes se han oído el TOEFL y el TOEIC. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yo siempre les recomiendo no. que estudien el TOEIC. Why, teacher? Because TOEFL, first of all, TOEFL is horrible, man. It is very complicated and unnecessary. Even for me as a 20-year-old mm -hmm. teacher, I mean, I've been a teacher for 20 years, and sometimes it's, it's a little difficult. The questions are, give a present progressive situation in an unintended action in a future simulation. Like, what the hell? <laughs> TOEFL, yes, TOEFL is test of English fluency. Yes. So that means if you go to the United States and you want a student visa, the people of the United States, aunque lo estén entrevistando y oyen que habla inglés, that doesn't convince them. They want a certificate. I can be talking to someone from the United States. Yes, I speak English. I speak perfect English. I mean, I just want to go and study. And he can say, yes, but I need a certificate. So then I have to study TOEFL and I have to take that exam. Solo para eso sirve TOEFL. Ahora, el TOEIC, test of English, I'm sorry, test, TOEIC, test of English and international communication. Oh. Listen to this. Imagine estamos en una junta de todo Latinoamérica. <laughs> yes. Y vengo yo y de entrada digo... Buenos días, señores. ¿Qué tal estuvo su paseo en la guagua? Immediately, what do you think? Where am I from? Cuba. Cuba, Puerto Rico, o algo, right? Pero entonces yo estoy siendo muy mal educado porque estoy hablando mi caliche con toda Latinoamérica, esperando que ustedes entiendan lo que yo digo. Entonces, el TOEIC, yo tendría que haber dicho, buenos días, eh, compañeros, espero hayan disfrutado su viaje en el autobús. No del bus, nosotros decimos bus, México dice camión, el Caribe dice guagua, but lo que le está enseñando, the formal es autobús. For example, in the United States, bathroom. Los, los británicos dicen, ja, 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 you, you don't take a bath in the bath. It, it, like, if you go to McDonald's, you say, where's the bathroom? Bath is ducha. And we need a public bathroom. Ellos se burlan de nosotros, de la gente aquí en América. Porque dicen, ja, ja, ustedes van a McDonald's a pedir un, 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 una ducha. Y saben ellos cómo le dicen al baño ellos. Hoy. Restroom? No, they say, restroom? no, they say wa water closet. <laughs> Entonces, I didn't know that. Yes, uh -huh. imagine they say, ha ha, usted is in bathroom. It's, oh, you say water closet. <laughs> what is the correct way? Restroom. 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 A, that is TOEIC, test of English in international language. So, es el inglés internacional. Es lo que yo les estaba diciendo. En vez de decir vos, en vez de decir tú, diga usted. Okay. All right. Okay. So remember that. Okay, we'll continue tomorrow. Okay. Maybe if we finish everything tomorrow, so Friday we can have an open activity, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. okay. okay thank you very much. Have a wonderful Good day. Night, teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.